for the David Rose Lightning Bolts, Bolt Sweatshirt, you're going to need a crew neck sweatshirt, a black crew neck sweatshirt, and then use the SVG file to cut out all these lightning bolts. Um, you need about 13 or 14 small ones, um, and then about 13 medium and a couple of large, about six or seven large. Um, but just kind of a few extra just in case uh, the placement will vary. And then you can make them an adult or kid size. Just adjust the SVG before you cut it out. And if you want, you can use the file um, to just cut these out as um, with scissors. Since the lightning bolt's really easy, you can use iron on vinyl just to cut them out with scissors. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna lay out our sweatshirt on an easy press mat. And then we'll arrange the small lightning bolts around the neckline. So you'll want to cut them out individually off of the iron-on paper so that you have, um, so we can place them all around. So we are just going to start at the neckline and they kind of fan out along the angle, the arch of the neckline. So. Um, we're just going to space them. Um, Once you have a good pattern that you like, um, just make sure they are where you want them and then we'll pull out the easy press. And if you end up using more or less um, lightning bolts, that's okay. Uh, 13 is a, 13 or 14 is a good starting number, but depending on the size you're doing and the size of your lightning bolts, you might want to adjust. Okay, so once you have Enough. I'm going to add one more in here. Okay, so once you have them how you want them, use your Cricut Easy Press to apply the iron on to the sweatshirt. If you don't have an easy press, you can use an iron and just follow, follow the instructions on the iron on. All right, so peel off the plastic and then we'll start the second row. So with a medium, lightning bolts we're just going to start the second row about an inch below and we'll kind of just space them an inch below the bottom of the last the small lightning bolts and then kind of in between the space between the two small lightning bolts and just kind of fan them out along the same arch way And then repeat the process with the large lightning bolts. There's only going to be about six, five to seven of these. So, um, and they do kind of spill off the edge in the show. So you can kind of do it like that. Um, and then we'll press them. Just make sure when you're pressing the, the lower layer that you're not um, getting that vinyl from above so that it doesn't mess with it. 